Hey guys, Chromar here with TGN, bringing you some PvP action here in Sator. Um, first, before I get to the main video, I want to show you some really terrible Ilum footage. I know the quality here is very poor, that's why I'm not only going to subject you to it for maybe a minute or so. But basically, if you're not familiar, Ilum is a level 50 world PvP objective. It's a total mess. Uh, it doesn't matter how good your computer is, it's basically impossible to play well. Um, on virtually every server out there, Empire dominates, but on the Crucible Pits, it's, we're the one exception. Because my guild, Ruin, I mean not my guild, the guild I'm a member of, Ruin, uh, dominates um, uh, Ilum every time. And we're the only server where, do where Republic dominates. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's just because Ruin is amazing. Whatever it is, we totally kick their ass. And I really would like to make more footage of uh, these big Ilum wars, but the quality is so bad, it's pretty much impossible to do. So I just want to show just a little bit of it. Yeah, this is what it looks like. I mean, it looks the same even when I'm not recording. It's pretty much almost unplayable. Really not that fun either. So anyway, let's get out of here and actually go on to the real video. So I did a solo queue Alderaan today that was actually a really good. I'm glad I recorded it. I didn't record any commentary or anything. I didn't know if it was going to turn out well. I was just kind of randomly recording while doing my dailies. And um, I got into a group here with Shadows. He's another Ruin member. He's part of Ruin Gaming, which is kind of our PvP branch. And uh, he is a very well-known, very high DPS, uh, very well-geared Sentinel. So I, I took the opportunity to guard him. I'm basically going to follow him as much as I can. Although I couldn't really keep up with him the whole game. Um, whenever I could keep up with him, I wanted to follow him, guard him, keep him alive, that kind of stuff. To allow him to do like, kind of his full potential damage. And he is a very dangerous DPSer, by the way. So we start out going mid. Uh, it's kind of poorly contested, but there is a little bit of a battle here. And I'm just going to follow uh, Shadows into, into the fight. He's going to start out by stealthing, using the Sentinel stub, temporary stealth. In order to not put focus on him. I'm sure that's what he does in a normal battle. Uh, if I would have been on vent with him, I would have told him just to go in first and take the heat. Because with my protection, he pretty much can't get killed. Uh, but with me going in first, instead, I'm the one who's getting focused quite a bit. That's fine. I'm going to go all cooldowns, uh, including my uh, Warzone Med Pack. I don't think it's even on my bar right now, but... Um, Things have a tendency to jump off the bar, especially when you're trying to use them in a high lag situation. Like, it, the game just doesn't understand your mouse clicks. Uh, so we pretty much incinerated those guys. And uh, unfortunately, though... Yeah, there, I put it back on my bar. Unfortunately, though, um, they sent a nice little uh, group to left. And if we had been a little bit faster reacting, this could have gone a little bit better. But instead, it wound up turning into a little bit more of a... Um, a more of a, a competitive battle here. Yeah, so they turned over left, unfortunately. Um, like I said, if we had, if I had reacted faster, if I had come over uh, before we finished capping mid, like I should have, then I might have been able to interrupt that. But as is, I wasn't. That's okay. So we're going to proceed to kill these guys uh, as efficiently as possible. Now, I should have run behind the pillar and used to use line of sight, but unfortunately I didn't. So they were able to get in range and hit me with some kind of range attack. And uh, had a little bit of FPS problems here. I know, I know, some real quality footage here, guys. Sorry. But it cleans itself up in a second. And um, there's a healer focus. Look how quick he died. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, so I'm going to be able to keep Shadows alive essentially forever, as long as I'm alive, that is. Uh, but they're, they're eventually going to, you know, kind of figure it out and switch to me. Uh, but one of the advantages, you know, of having control of a point is you get almost instant res. It's left and right side. It's almost instant res. So it's very hard to unseat a group here. Um, you pretty much have, I mean, if they if they all defend it, if they all defend it, then it's very hard to concede a group here. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to send everything they have to try to defend this side. Yeah, so some of the people we've killed are already back up, like that healer. Um, this marauder here is a is a tough one. Um, he is a bit tough to deal with, but I'm still getting low. I've also popped my Warzone Med Pack, aka Green Healy Thingy. My Reactive Shield's back up. Use that. It's only a 25% reduction, but I'll take anything at this point. Relic is up. Use that. Hard to even pick targets. But, uh, focus on this assassin. I was hoping to get out of line of sight for a second to heal, but I'm not out of combat, even after that kill. I guess just because I have guard on shadows, there's almost no way I'm going to get out of combat. Uh, especially not long enough to actually heal up. We don't have any proper healing on our team for this match, unfortunately. Knock back. Die here and then charge in. Nope, didn't even make it that far. Ah, so. Uh, we're losing that battle. Uh, we kind of overcommitted to left, and they've also overcommitted their defenses, though, so that's going to turn out well for us. Not to spoil anything, but. Uh, on the way back, I'm going to head straight over to the left side. Also, I just noticed that my uh, Warzone med pack wasn't on my hotkey for heals. Uh, I had my regular med pack on there from uh, when I was doing Ilum. But anyway, 
I'm gonna head back over to left. I'm gonna try to continue the fight. I didn't know if I can get there in time to uh, keep the fight alive. Um, kind of was too late because right as I run up, shadows drops. Right about now. Yeah, somewhere in there in that chaos. I can't remember where. But I know I saw him dying there somewhere. If I'd been just a little faster. If I had died and got back a little bit faster, I could have regarded him and maybe kept him alive a little bit longer. But not that it matters because even though we were killing them pretty efficiently, they just keep coming back, you know? And it's just not the right strategy to uh, go all in on one side. But while we're fighting here, the other resers uh, are actually heading over to the right side. And we're going to see something interesting happen there in just a minute. Yeah, so I don't have shadows here to guard. I did guard somebody else. I'll be able to keep them alive, but um, I think the other team is kind of figuring out they need to target me, or they're they're doing it for some reason. They're, they've <laughs> they've definitely switched to me because my health's dropping pretty quick. We officially lost left, lost the battle for left, and we're way behind on points because we took it so long to give up on it. But take a look at right side, bam, got it. So I like to say that uh, I like to think that my efforts on left side, just throwing myself at that wall, banging my head against that wall, is what led us to capturing right side. I'm gonna have to go ahead and take credit for that. Yeah, that makes sense. No, but seriously though. Anyway, we managed to take right side, and we still have mid. So now we're gonna have to defend. So we have a uh, cap advantage, but not a but a big point disadvantage. So it's gonna take us a while to make up that gap with only two one, and um, we're gonna have to do it. It's gonna be a long defense. It's gonna be long drawn out defense, but we can do it. I sure think so, anyway. I don't know what that guy was doing. But yeah, so we um, immediately have to head over to right side. Right side's about to get attacked big time. Um, just knocked that assassin out of stealth. I was actually hoping to pull him back up. But there's nothing mid at all. At first, I thought I wanted to stay back and defend mid, but I mean, the way the enemy team is going, they're all hitting one side at once. They're not splitting at all. So leaving two behind defense is probably even too much. I probably don't even need two, just one. So here I go over to right side, join the battle. Um, they're getting pretty aggressive, but it's kind of the same way that they're, us attacking left side didn't work out. They're, them attacking right side isn't going to work out. I mean, that's, that's not how you play it. Um, the way you play it in this game is... You, you, you do push one side, but you don't send your whole team. You try to get, you try to get the other team to overcommit to defense, and then you hit their weak spot. Um, that's why this whole capture left and right and wait it out strategy doesn't work at all. I mean, you saw the way how poorly it worked here. Sure, they could, we couldn't take left, but that just left right open because they all switched over to left to defend it. I mean, that's just how you do it. So with the right side clear, I'm heading back over to mid. Somebody capping. I wasn't the only one there to stop him, so it didn't matter. He wasn't going to get it. Pretty intense fight here, though. We have enough reinforcements coming in that it looks doable. Time to pop some cooldowns. Didn't need to, actually. I was probably a waste of a... It was a waste of a mid-pack, a uh, Warzone mid-pack, because I have a lot of... Um, I actually have quite a bit of healing coming in on me on that one. Because they, they actually died so fast that uh, I didn't really need to use it there. Back over to right side once again. See what you guys got. Yeah, I couldn't get the red buff because I already grabbed the other red buff. It's silly. I should have just right clicked it off and then grabbed it. But uh, it didn't matter because there's no one to fight. <laughs> they killed him before I got there. Back to mid again. At this point, I think they were getting a little demoralized, uh, even though they're still up on score very slightly, and it would be very trivial for them to turn the game around at this point. All they need to do is get one capture, and then hold it to win. Uh, they're just, um, I don't know, they're just losing They're just losing focus, I guess. You might have noticed, by the way, I didn't mention it, but after the, the loss at left side, I kind of lost track of Shadows. And if you look on the left side of the screen, if you look at the raid, he's not listening to the ops group, but he is here. It's just that the damn game, it's just an obnoxious bug. Whenever you're, especially when you're trying to play a tank and you're, or, or a healer even, if you have a certain target that you're trying to keep alive. And sometimes they just don't appear in the ops group. I've seen my own name not appear in the ops group too. It happens to us all the time, it's so annoying. And as a result, I, I can't highlight him. I, there have, there's no way I can, I can't make a target mech or anything, so I gotta find his name in the list, can't find it. So the only way I can find him is look around for a guy with two blue swords. That's the only way that I can actually locate the guy I'm trying to protect. Uh, silly. But there's a couple guys here fighting away from the node. 
pretty obvious what they're trying to do. They're trying to just bait us away so they can send an assassin in. Uh, since they do have, I think, six Inquisitors in this group. Uh, no joke. Yeah, that's uh, that's how bad it is. Way too many freaking Inquisitors. But uh, it's not going to work, so that's why I harpooned the guy up to the edge there. I think that's another another kill. Yeah, one of the uh, Inquisitors here is a guy that's kind of infamous on our server named Maldavin. He's not infamous for being a good player. He's infamous just kind of for being a big fat idiot and um, getting himself, uh, getting a lot of people in trouble, racist slurs on, on live streams, stuff like that. He's actually kind of infamous around here, and uh, he's also terrible. And you'll see his score at the end, it's, it's pretty hilarious, but uh, his group was also in the Ilum group, which we just raffle stomped uh, all day long for several hours. I mean, we came we came in there for like an hour or two, stomped them in Ilum, and then left, and then came back a few hours later, stomped them again. I mean, they could never win a single battle against us, there's just no way. But, um, can't win this war zone either. I mean, you're really gonna laugh when you see the scoreboard. I don't want you to skip ahead, I want you to wait for it. When you see the scoreboard at the end of this, it's gonna absolutely crack you up when you see him on David's position. Yay! Oh, look! Another Marauder. Red and purple. And he's about done. He was focusing me, but he wasn't gonna catch me. Yeah, I can actually reload. Yeah, we're officially in the lead on points now, and they still haven't managed to break us either mid or right side. But uh, look who I just saw go right by. Yep, it's Shadows, finally! So I finally caught up with the dude so I can slap guard on him. I told you he didn't leave. <laughs> He's just, it's just the Hugh Heist bug. And uh, we'll go ahead and just cause some mayhem up here. I mean, honestly, with a, with a really good Vanguard or even a Jedi Guardian as a defense spec, uh, following you around as a, as a DPS, or you're pretty much un you're pretty much unkillable. So if you play a DPS at like a frail DPS, and you, you're very happy with your damage output, but you're unhappy with how often you die, and you find it that's frustrating, just find a friend who plays a tank. I mean, or make friends with a, with a good tank, and just have them pre just pre made and say just guard me and, and follow me around while I kill stuff. I mean, it's really effective, and, and I think the I think that the tanks won't have any problem doing that. It's not like they're going to be selfish about it. Be like, no, I don't want to play support. I just want to kill stuff. I just think, I mean, this is my opinion. I mean, I don't everybody's going to share the same opinion, but I love PvP tanking in this game. I love playing a freaking PvP tank, following somebody and keeping them alive. I mean, this whole taunt and guard system that they have here is totally unlike anything else in any 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 uh, MMO. It's actually kind of surprising to find something this original and imaginative inside this game, even though it's fairly simple. It's one of these simple things that every other game's managed to get wrong. So, um, I'm really, really glad. I mean, this is one of the things that keeps me playing the game, honestly. Uh, is this, this playstyle, this role, which just doesn't exist in WoW or Rift or any of those games. So, um, I just love following people around and protecting them. And I think that you're going to get that same sentiment from a lot of other people who play Vanguard, Power Techs, Guardians, Juggernauts, you know, and play as defense. It's just really fun. So, if you're playing a frail DPS, whether it's a Gunslinger, but especially a Sentinel Marauder, uh, or uh, maybe a DPS Guardian, stuff like that, and, you know, like Hengist's uh, Focus Spec Guardian, if you're playing anything like that, and you're just worried about dying too much, find a tank. Queue up with a tank, or, or join, uh, <laughs> or re-roll in Crucible Pits, and uh, queue up with me. Uh, if you do high DPS, I love to, I love to group with any high DPS. So, um... As I've been talking, uh, as you see, the points are getting down low. They have one last push on mid. Uh, at least they decided, you know, not just give up for no reason. They actually decided to fight for it. That's pretty nice, even though they have no, no hope whatsoever. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have to wipe them one more time, or at least keep it alive until the game ends. Yep, that's it. Wipe them again. I think the last guy just went invis on us. I don't think he actually died. There we go. In. Enemy ship destroyed. Grab a red buff. Oh, somebody else took my red buff. <laughs> For all those non-existent fights. I was holding forward so I could go up and hit a stock strike. So, um, score-wise, obviously, our team just absolutely dominated everything. So you're probably wondering, why would you even include a game that's this dominant? Well, I did feel like it was um, competitive in the sense that we had to be constantly on the move, and, and they were constantly attacking. Um, the score went up this way just because we're so much better than them. That's all there is to it. I mean, look at look at that. All the six Inquisitors and two... Uh, Sith, Sith uh, Marauders, and look at how Davin score. <laughs> oh my God, that is the worst score ever. That is so bad. It's so laughably bad. I just really enjoyed that. 
So anyway, hope you enjoyed. I know it's a little bit shorter. I usually do these half-hour PvP videos, but I had all, pretty much only one good game that was worth publishing and over out of like five or six. So thanks for watching. This has been Chromar with TGN.